What's up friends? Welcome to our fourth tutorial in our DaVinci Resolve series. This time, Dynamic Zoom. It's a very easy to apply effect. This is a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 14 that lets you apply a zooming effect just by selecting and clicking without any keyframing ability. You will be amazed on how easy it is to apply this. Welcome to our fourth tutorial. Okay, let's go to result and import a video. Let's use the easy way. Just open up a folder and I would like to bring a video. So click on this PC, videos, and select a video. I'm going to place this window over here, click on the video and drag it over here. Would you like to change your frame rate to match this clip? No, don't change. And let's close this. Let's disable the inspector so we can use the trimmer. I'm gonna click and drag this video to the trimmer. And let's watch this video. Let's select a portion. This could be the marking point. Let's play this a little. Play. The actual video. And it hurt so much. I was surprised that I was still sore. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back. And then rest for one to two minutes and then do the... In Enough. This will be the markout point. Let's select this short portion of the clip and drag it to the timeline. Just clicking and drag it. This way. Drop there. Let's preview what's on the timeline, position the marker at the beginning, and let's play this video. I was surprised that I was still sore. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back, and then rest for one to two minutes, and then do... Okay, as you can see, there is no any movement. It's time to see this new feature in the Resolve 14, the Dynamic Zoom. It's available on the inspector, so click on the inspector, as I activate the inspector, the trimmer will disappear. Click on the inspector and there is nothing to inspect. Why? Because I haven't selected the clip. As I click on the clip, we can see the tools, the controls on the inspector. In our last tutorial, the third one, we used transform controls, corrupting controls, and in this tutorial we're gonna use the dynamic zoom. What this tool actually does is apply some kind of zooming effect just by clicking without using keyframes. So it's an effect very simple to apply and it's also very useful. For example, this video is always at the same size. Position the marker and let's preview it again. Actual video and it hurt so much. I was surprised that I If I would like a zooming effect at the beginning, all I need to do is position the marker like this. I'm going to use the razor tool, click on this and split. Now the clip has been sliced into. Let's disable the razor, clicking on the selection tool. With the clip selected to apply the dynamic zoom, all I need to do is click on the dynamic zoom control here in the inspector, clicking, and this dot becomes red. Now let's look at the clip, position the marker at the beginning, and look at this. The actual video, and it hurt so much. I was surprised that you I see? was still so... Again, look at that movement. It's like a zooming out. It makes the video more interesting. Play this. The actual video, and it hurt so much. I was surprised that I was still sore. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back, and then rest for one... What about this kind of effect at the end of the video? Maybe a zooming in. I position the marker again. As I need this way, use the razor, click on the razor, split the video, enable the selection tool, and select the video. Always remember, select the clip being selected. If I want to apply a dynamic zoom, all I need to do is click here, click, and the dot becomes red. Now look at this. If I position the marker a little before, watch this video, play. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back, and then rest for one to two minutes, and then you... Watch it again. There is like a jumping moment. That doesn't look very well. Again, play this. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back. And there. rest for one to two minutes. That's because here there is a zoom out. Back, back. And then rest for one to two minutes and then... We can change that to a zoom in just by selecting the clip and being enabled as dynamic zoom. If you click on swap, the zoom out will become a zoom in. Click on swap. And now let's watch this video. Look at this, play. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back and then rest for one to two minutes and then you... Very simple, very easy to apply. So it's possible to switch among zooming in and zooming out just by clicking on swap. You can also customize the speed of the dynamic zoom. For instance, this clip shows an steady zooming, always the same speed. Look at it. Back, back and then rest for one to two minutes and then you... 
okay you can adjust this speed this linear speed to is in is out is in and out let's look at is in select here on the dynamic zoom panel and let's look at this position the marker and look back and then rest for one to two minutes and speed then up at the end of the clip that's is in let's select the other clip this one has applied a dynamic zoom and let's customize this to an is out zooming clicking here and now let's look at this play actual video and it hurt so much i was surprised is, that i was still sore now these are four it starts fast and then slow down again play actual video and it hurt so much i was surprised that i was still sore now these are dynamic zoom very easy way to apply zooming without any keyframe and ability another way to customize the dynamic zoom can be applied using these controls you remember we saw that in our previous tutorial here clicking here you can access to transform controls cropping and also a dynamic zoom let's select a video this one it has applied a dynamic zoom and let's enable here the dynamic zoom controls clicking here appears these widgets the green line indicates what area of the video will be shown at the beginning of the zooming and the red line this one indicates what area of the video will be shown at the end of the zooming effect for example if now we drag this corner clicking and dragging so i want a very close zoom into her face look at this now this zooming effect this dynamic zoom will be from the full screen in the green line to the red to her face let's disable this clicking let's position the marker and look at this very beautiful effect click you back to back to back to back and then rest for one to two minutes and then you, you can also use this on pictures let's import a picture let's open the folder this pc pictures and let's bring someone like this one position the window click and drag over here that's all let's close this window and click and drag it to the timeline beside the video and position the marker and preview this it's just a picture there's no any movement at all stop position the marker and let's apply what's also known as can burn effect i guess it's like applying some kind of motion to a picture to make it more interesting first always select the clip in this case this picture this gray dot indicates it has no any dynamic zoom so apply it click here and the dot becomes red let's preview this play this can make the picture more interesting now let's customize this select it always click on this drop down arrow dynamic zoom to watch the controls and look the beginning is the green line and the end the red line so this is some kind of zoom out if i click on swap to create a zoom in then the colors will change will switch click on swap and now the green is the outline and the inner line is the red one i will also like this picture to go to this girl face so i click here select this corner now it's selected i can drag it this way let's disable this position the marker and play this moving to this face a little this makes the picture interesting that was our fourth tutorial dynamic zoom is applying some zooming very easily just by selecting the clip and on this vector apply dynamic zoom you can switch among zooming in and zooming out by clicking on swap you can customize the speed of the zooming easing in easing out and also customize directly dragging on the preview window how you want the zooming to be in our next tutorial, we will use panning and zooming. Panning and zooming is doing this, moving over the video from side to side, as you want, as you need. Did you like the tutorial? Remember, if you're watching it from YouTube, in the video description, you will find a link to all the tutorials we are creating for DaVinci Resolve. If you click on that link, YouTube will show you all the tutorials we are creating, just in the order you want them to be. This is Loving Sir. See you in the next tutorial. The actual video. And it hurt so much. I was surprised that I was still sore. Now these are four moves that you do back to back to back to back. And then rest for one to two minutes. And then do...